In Princes of Darkness, the setting takes place in the War of the Princes which begins shortly after the fall of Constantinople to the Fourth Crusade in 1204. Before we tried the life of an Inquisitor, this time we're going to try to play a vampire. This is all in preparation for a future series when a major update for this mod comes out over in October. We have our character right over here. Via Picati. I'm sure I butchered them, but it's what I said. I'm a vampire. I don't care. I've got our Prince of Sin. Camilla Pontifex Maximus of the Damned. What a title. Imagine having to say that every single time. But check out what he's got for a house banner. That's really cool. That's right. Delete Carthage. We're going to do that again and again. Now... Let's have a look around at a few things here. You might be wondering, where are all of the mortals? Well, you do have Inquisitors, but what you're looking at isn't really a true reflection of the current state of the world. What you're looking at is kind of like the seedy underbelly. Think about gangs and how they might draw out stakes in a town or city. It's a lot like that here. We've all got our turf, and we try to maintain it. But there's still kings and emperors out there. They're all doing their things. From what I understand, more events like that will impact the game in future updates, which should be quite cool. Now, let's have a look at what we have over here. I wanted to begin over here in Rome because the idea of a Roman vampire, well, that appeals to me a lot. I think it's really cool. Now, I've got one grandparent. Look at that. Queen Tania. How far are you? Yeah, they're all over. You've got your family just all over. And when I say family, just people that you might have been sired by and people that you've sired and all of that stuff. I've got one sibling right over here. Yeah, he's pretty far out too. He's a count. And you can see all the different factions around. Now, we've actually got some decent income. Getting income in here is a lot more difficult. Blackmail is a great way to get more gold. So if you find yourself struggling, you've got to really find ways to assume more wealth. Now, here's one important matter that I do want to bring up. You can't think of the game in the same context as a base CK3 title. Or, I guess, playthrough, I should say. You're not going to be the one building up new development quickly, okay? So what you want to do, you want to find high development places. Think about it like a vampire. Are you going there to found a new city and things will do well because you're in charge? Probably not. No, you're more of a parasite. You're there to take from what's already built up. So we want to find high development areas that are doing well. The more we get, the better off we will be. So that's another part to keep in mind here. Thankfully, we do have Rome, which has quite a bit of development. 30 is actually not too bad. Popular opinion, that's actually pretty good too. And we've also got buildings over here. Now, these buildings are all about kind of taking away, again, from the populace and also increasing our level of influence and control. So we do have options. I can only build so much. I do have rabble and thugs. Numerous and with at least a modicum of fighting experience, outlaws make for a good amount of fodder. Yeah, so you need more than 15 development. And that gives me 600 to levies. I do lose 0.1 to prestige. So you've got to balance everything out. Over here, we've got Mortal Room. Holy men prowl the streets. Evidently, we can change that over time. Now, all I really need is prestige. Like over here, I need 4,000 prestige. So even building is quite different. Now, 0.5 is what we would lose. Over here, we would only lose 0.3. And later... We lose no control at all. Eternal Rome. Finally, Rome is back in vampiric hands. So as you can see here, it's all about subjugating the people who already exist over there. And I think that's pretty darn cool. So we'll try to do what we can over time as we continue to build up our base. When it comes to what we have, well, there are many abilities. We are lusty, ambitious, zealous too. And if you know anything about the lore, you know about House Camilla. We have a lot of influence over the kindred. Now, let's have a look over here. I could grab a few concubines. I don't want to. There are people I probably need to put on my council. Finding people who are quite talented can be difficult. Vampires are slow to learn new things. However, here's one mortal. I would like to change him. Oh, he'll actually convert over to what I believe in. I like that. Let's do that real quick. Go on. If mortal medieval Italy is a divided state, then Italy by night is a powder keg. Powerful old vampires scramble for the most populous cities of Europe. To the north, you've got the Venture Cardinal, Fabrizio Ufila, who sits in Milan. And we've just got many other characters, too, all around. Now, the Eternal Consul was the mastermind behind Rome's empire and Carthage's destruction, and could usher a new age for Ventrue leadership. 
As other petty leaders and immortal kings rise elsewhere in Italy, the War of the Princes had never been more dangerous than here. All roads lead to Rome. So now we know about that. And let's see. Huh. Due to their inherent clan weakness, Ventru have exacting and rarefied tastes. Even when it comes to blood. What kind of blood do you seek? <laughs> Are you a good person? What are you into? ASL? So what do you do for a living? Oh no. Medieval vampiric tender. All right. What are you into? We'll try that one. What sin does your prey indulge? Let's say I like lusty people. I get a secret. I like to prey upon them. People could find out about that and use it against me. What is your prey? Now, vampires could be dangerous. Over here, humans. We'll keep it to that one, okay? Now, what attributes do I utilize? When it comes to what I have, I'm very strong. My charm wouldn't be too bad, I think. Yeah. Violence could also work out. You know what? We'll use violence. I look nice, but I'm going to tear people to shreds. We could do this the easy way, or we could do this the hard way. Hmm, interesting. I could extort people, or I could pray in alleyways. Is there another approach? I'm curious. No, we'll go back then. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll just go to the alley cat one. There. I've been trying to learn a lot about the mod lately in preparation for whether we play as a vampire or as an inquisitor for our future campaign. But over here, we wouldn't be able to learn quickly for any lifestyle perk. The idea is that vampires are slow to learn new things. We also do have disciplines. And that's a great way for me to utilize my own powers. Of course, it does come at a cost and I'll need to feed more and all of that. If you've ever played, like, let's say, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, you know how that works out. But I already have many, many traits over here. I've got Presence Advanced, plus two to my prowess, Majesty over here. Now, to do this is to consume another fellow vampire. I can gain their powers. If they're of a lower generation than me, like let's say first generation or second or third or whatever, that's how close or how far removed they are from Cain, the father of all vampires. And so they're more powerful. And that's a great way for you to gain more power. The further your generation is away, the more diluted your blood is. And so the more weak you are. And some are even considered to be partially human. Gross. Dawn over here. Let's see. Dread gain, 20%. Incredible. Awe. Direct vassal opinion, plus five. So we've got a lot of really good stuff. Phlegmatic. Yeah, it's all about the humors of the blood, if any of you remember about that, and I'm sure many of you do. It's just all about the humorism, that system of medicine back in medieval times and, you know, those eras too. So that's kind of like how that's all defined. We've got phlegmatic, sanguine, melancholy, choleric, all of that. And again, I've got so much, I feel pretty darn good. And over here, we've got animal as well. Let's see, the animal resonance. Now, what is resonance? Resonance is the humor of the blood consumed by a vampire. That corresponds with what I said before. And of course, you can get different types of humors from different types of personality traits that a character has in here. So who you feed on can make a big difference. All right, let's see here. Feral weapons, we've got all of that too. I suppose I could focus on a bit of diplomacy. I mean, I've got all that unlocked. I might as well do that at least a little bit. So why don't we come over here? It will take a long time, but I think that's okay. And I'll take more prestige, so we'll do that too. And I can have a look at more of what I have. Yeah, I've got all these over here. But not only that, let's also have another look. I've got disciplines that can be used in the form of abilities too. I can spawn my own army. I can get ghouls over here. Now, of course, I'll become hungrier over time and I'll need to get some blood. I've got level one hunger right now. I'm hungry. My blood potency is four right now. Let's see, I'm currently hidden. The masquerade is how hidden I am. And the more things you do to infract upon that, the more likely it is you will be revealed and you can't break the masquerade, which you can see down here. And I'm assuming that's my blood. Yeah, see, there's only a small bit missing right at the very bottom. So I need to go feed on someone. Now, if I find someone I like, I could keep them. Yeah, look at that. Why don't we find a warrior? Sure. I'll go do that real quick. And marriages over here are just going to be political. It's really political. You're not going to have kids. No. You can sire your children. But, oh yeah, look at her. Helena of Troy. Goddess among mortals. Interesting. You know what? Why don't we do that? There. We are related, but who cares? We're vampires. 
Okay, so let's eat them. You can hunt any mortal in your current location by right clicking on them. Oh, all right. Let's find someone decent over here. Let's see. Who do we have? You're impatient. What about you? Callus, misguided warrior. I don't like that he's kind of a lunatic. You know what? We'll eat that guy. I think I want to eat him. Perfect. All right. Let's have a look then. I don't want to befriend him. I could turn him into a ghoul too. So if there's like people that you like, you could do that. But now I'm going to go hunt. Let's go do that. It's about time to go eat someone. And so I'm just going to take him and call it a good day. And now we're allied. We're married. We have a good friend on our side. And I'm not going to sire anyone just yet. And I'm the new head of our Ventru dynasty. Great. All right. What else do we have? My half brother, you'll be my heir. For legacies, we've got many over here. Let's see. Legacy of Camilla. More damage. We'll take that. Let's see. Another legacy of Artemis. Unlocks a special commander trait for every dynasty member with martial education. The Spartan goddess charged bravely against Carthage's horrors. Oh, I love that. Let's see. Medan over here. His idiotic death taught a valuable lesson to the Ventru. Another special interaction to enforce the masquerade. Oh, and Tinia over here. We know of her. Let's see. More piety. So she likes to wander around the world. Oh, check that out. The artwork. It's unlocking. I love that. It's so cool. And the legacy of Mithras over here. More cab damage. A lot more. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. Let's come over here now. Rights and duties of the ruling class. There's also monsters that you can get over time too. Zemei right over here. Look at that. That's crazy looking. I want that. That would kill so many things. Okay. Let's see. A special child education event. Very cool. So I've got all that I want now. Yeah, so we've got many, many tools that should be able to help out. And we'll see how they play out over time. But for now, let's go hunt for some blood. We don't need to do much more. I'm not going to declare any wars just yet. And there's even more to talk about. We're not quite done yet. Oh, I also need a new council, I suppose. Let's try to find some good people. Not all of them are quite good. You're quite good. I think I might actually turn you into someone worthwhile on my side. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to turn you into a ghoul. Let's do that. Done. You're my steward. You're a vampire, but you're very bad at what you do. You know what? These humans are better than all of you. I think I want to potentially take him as well. I'm not going to turn him into a vampire. I suppose I could. But let's watch after these people because we want people who are worthwhile. We want people who have good skills. Here's one vassal of mine. He's pretty good. She's not nearly as angry. I probably need to sway her. Oh, yeah. Trying to actually convert people. That could be a pain, too. Yeah, we'll sway her later. I need a new spy master as well. Oh, he's very good. And he likes me more. Yeah, they definitely want to be on your council. So I might actually make them into vampires. And oh, dear God. Oh, very ugly. He's very ugly. What's over here? Yeah, Nosferatu. They are not pretty to look at at all. Oh, one very important thing to note, too. There are usually custom decisions for nearly every major character that you can find. So if you play once, you can pick a new character, have completely new goals, and you'll have to play in a completely different way. So it's really cool. Now over here, we've got the political sin. Tonight, sinners are sorry creatures, barely coherent in their lust for decadence. But once, sinners ruled over the most powerful canine empire, Rome itself. It could do so again. However, I've got to own a lot I need one kingdom, I need 2,000 gold, and 500 for my piety. That's actually doable. We could try to work on that. Look at that. Friends, Romans. Now, actually, we would take their ears. And over here, King of Kings. That means that we would become the very head of all vampires. Look at that. But I would need 100 territories. I would have to be a dynasty head. And no Ventru other than me can hold an empire title. What a goal to have. So here, if you want to go big, you play as my current character and you've got to play big. All right. And here's a council meeting. Interesting. Elysium. Oh, very cool. Twerper. We could do that too. I gained that trait, a boost over to my health. Yeah. Interesting. We're not going to do that. So it's a deeper state of stasis compared to the sleep vampires normally experience during daylight hours. Ah, I gotcha. It can last from a day to over a millennium. Wow, forget that. And I could also invite in more champions, but I'm going to wait to do that too. 
Now, what about who we want to fight? I'm not sure yet. 80 gold? Well, thank you, my steward. That's why all of you are being turned into ghouls. I want my ghoulish council. Maybe they'll be vampires one day. But what about you? A prince of sin, huh? I could devour you. You don't want to do that too much. Bad things can happen if you do it way too much. Clear war. I don't have a Cassus belly. Interesting. I could give you a consort, but I don't want that. I'll have to take my time and go after some of my neighbors. Oh god, another Nosferatu. Have a look at him. Now that guy, I can go after. Oh, when it comes to religion, it's more about your governing philosophy more than anything else, to be quite honest. So we can have a look right over here. Via Paketti. Organized centered true faith. Hedonistic. So whenever we party, we get piety. Conviction and instinct. And you can see all the different benefits we get and also penalties as well. But all sinners get more stress loss, same true faith opinion. We're all about the carnal stuff too. And we've got many doctrines over here on what we're cool with, like making a bunch of ghouls, if we're cool with anyone who consorts with infernal powers. So there's a lot of layers over here on what you're able to really control. And I'm the head of faith. It's me, baby. Let's have a look at my army over here. I've got really good champions. I think I'm going to be okay. Levies are not really too vital. Naturally, you do want some siege weapons, but let's have a look at his army right over there. He's got like one good vampire. Yeah, he's got one good vampire. Oh, by the way, if you want to sire any type of child as a vampire, make sure they're younger than you. Otherwise, there's going to be a mechanical issue with how the game considers you to have children and all that. All right, blood, here we go. I could take a lot. You know what? I'm hungry. I think I'll take that. I could gain some stress, a small chance that my masquerade exposure will increase. I think I'll be okay, but we got him. And for you, you shall join me. I'll gain a strong hook on him. I'll lose 100 prestige, but he's gonna join my court. Yeah, there we go. I've got him. Very good. So he's going to be okay now. He's got a huge boost over to his health. He's feeling better. I've got plenty of blood, but we're not quite done yet. We want to find a few other people who are going to fight for me. I can also convert them, which I love. So we're about to win. Yeah, being a vampire is really cool. Of course, your challenges really do change depending on what's going on. I've got to be in his location later to do that. Let's see, you're a vampire. I can trust you. I'm not gonna eat you. I could share my blood. It depends on who you are. You won't join me outright. My spy master is doing fine. I'm trying to find people who might join me outright. I could try to sway you, I suppose, or even begin investigations to find out secrets. It's all about intrigue here. A new faction. Oh, look who it is. My vassal and champion. Oh no. He's a member of my dynasty too. Yeah, he's right over here. Nice hat, buddy. I'm gonna watch over him. Now, I'll probably have to change out a few things. You can see how quickly and easily we beat them. Levies can help out as fodder, but it's all about your champions, even more so here. Oh, he got destroyed. Gaius Marcellus got him. Nice work. He was a very weak vampire. Pathetic. Oh, two of them died. Nice work, all of you. I've got a few prisoners, too, which is even more important for me. What if I need to... Feed, you know interesting I don't want to execute you though I can I would rather devour you now if you like them look at that you can add them to your herd that way you can just feed from them whenever rationalize interesting what about you a mortal and for you another mortal so we just caught three mortals now I've got to figure out who I'm going to coerce to be part of my side it might have to be you you've got some power over here Let's see. Swaying you might be a pain. You know what? I'll try to work on it, though. I've got some money, but I don't want to send you that much. I like what I have currently. We could go conquer more lands. Yeah, that directly belongs to me. I just need, what, 500 gold to create my kingdom? So I need a lot of gold, but I've got to get a few secrets, too, if I want to do that. There's really no one here that I want to eat. Of course, I could eat you. You're very old, which means that you probably have a lot of power. I'll think about it. I'll think about what I want to do to him. Okay, that keeps on changing. Oh, look at that. 
another member of my dynasty. Well, maybe you should join us directly. That's probably a good idea. I'll take that area. And we're not going to give up here. I'm here to gain control, and that's what I'm going to do. So off we go again. Let's go beat them. Let's have a look at my military. I've got pikemen, bowmen, mangonels, all the good stuff you need for killing your foes. Let's catch them. It's a very brief battle. I'm commanding at 47 for my commander advantage. And also, the Inquisition is meant to be a huge issue for you as you go along, so I'm very curious about that. I don't know what that looks like later on in the game, like towards the end game, if they're really that deadly or if it's a bit overblown. We'll find out. We got them again. You can see how easily and quickly that we're just able to tear through all of our foes now, which is pretty awesome. So we took them out there. That gives me another area that I directly control. And he is still around. He won't become my vassal. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> There's no way. I'll become your king one day. Oh, a countess. You've got claims on her lands. Really? So we could easily fight her. And she's also quite old, too. I could have married her, but I didn't really want to. Let's see. I could have her potentially give me some new skill, too. We're lovers, so we're not going to do that. She's my soulmate. I've got my own wife here, but I've made my choice. All right, sure. Let's do that. Mentoring. Ah, we can't do it right now, which is fine. All right, we need to ally. We need to do something over here. I could abduct you. That would be hilarious if I kidnapped her. I could give you him as a consort. I'm not going to do that, but let's have a look again. I've got pretty much no one that I care about in my court that's actually quite good at what they do. And I've got a Greek wife over here. Oh, yeah, she's very old. She's had a few hands and a few issues, Carthage and otherwise, if I remember right. But we're not going after them right now. Instead, what about a few other... Oh, my God. Another ugly. We can't permit him to be around. All right, let's come over here now and continue taking what belongs to us. It's got to, I think. It's got to belong to us. All right, we'll move our little rallying point. We'll get back together again, and we'll go fight them again. It's what we do. And here goes a very brief battle. I'm the strongest power here, so I could potentially quickly build an empire if I wanted to. I'm the big vampire on the block. Imagine a powerful vampire just saying, hey, you know what? I'm taking back control. That's what we're doing now. That's how we're doing it. Anthony of Padua. One of your agents report that someone claiming to be Anthony of Padua, the famous holy man, has been seen in a nearby town. Interesting. All right. Portuguese innocent. We could bring them in. Yeah, there are great persons who can join in. Messing with such an individual will increase your masquerade exposure. You know what? I'll do it anyway. Yeah, it definitely did that. I could summon him. Okay. His intrigue is very bad. I could definitely do that. What am I going to do about him, though? Let's see. I could make him my doctor. That would be interesting. He's like, wow, you've got no pulse. You're right, I don't. He'll actually convert to my belief, which is quite nice. All right. We're going to have a look and see what we're going to do with him. Maybe I'll even embrace him. My eternal doctor. That would be very cool. All right, let's finish up over here. We won. We got them. We've caught so many, too. And now your lands belong to me. I've got to give it away. I can't really... Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. I've got four out of three. I can't really control too much. But you can see how we've grown, just bit by bit. Look who it is over here. Our truce is now over. Well, thank you. They did a great job. Yeah, Anthony of Padua was a Portuguese Catholic priest and a friar of the Franciscan order. He died at 35, but we're going to try to change that up. I think I would like to. Let's do it right now. It's time to embrace him. I want only one doctor, if possible. And I think that would be great. Now, hold on. Let's come back over here to my court. You're a pretty good fighter and a vampire. Okay. Come join me. I've got some money. You've got a trait. I don't care. Your diplomacy is pretty good. I do like you. Now, let's have a look at the factions over here. They're growing in power and influence. Your account. You've got a few of them. I could turn you into one. Yeah, my dear ghoul. That's a very buff chaplain. 
He's not very good at his job, though, but Anthony is. But if I do that, I might lose him. Eh. That's okay. If you can't be my doctor, that's all right. You're now my chaplain, which also works out pretty well. So we'll keep him. And I suppose because you've got good stewardship, I'm going to turn you into a ghoul later. Yeah. Or maybe I'll even transform you. Who knows? But let's see here. Yeah, I cannot give him a title because he's immortal, so I've got to wait. But I can give you a title instead. All right, I'll definitely change you then. Fine, I'll do it now. I was going to wait. I'm known for my dedication to my faith, and you want help in a war to fight again another member of my house. That's really far away. All right, well, if you want to do that. Oh, look at the count. He's trying to pry a few secrets from my old mind. You know what? I'm going to exert my will. Let's do it. My mind is my own, but now I know I've got to handle you. I can't trust you over here. I could try to consume him. It might be time. Let's do it right now. Normally I wouldn't do that, but now I've got to. When it comes to helping out in a war though, what are we talking about? Really? You're trying to fight for that. It's very far away though. Do you have the power? Do you have the champions? I don't really know. I suppose I could help out. We are married. We could do that, I suppose. I think what I need to do, I need to work on getting rid of a few members over here. Man, she's really good. Yeah, if they betray me, I would lose a lot of my good champions and that would be a bad thing. So I've got to find a way to get you to like me more. I'll get one more goal and then we'll work on that. I'll give her money, I suppose, for now. I could give her a drought, but I don't really trust her that much. Yeah, here's 100 gold. Take that. Is she going to go away? Oh, and what we could do, we could just come over here and help out right now. Now I know why we're fighting a war. They've got territory right over here. Well, we'll go take care of what they have. I don't want to lose my good champions to a rebellion, so I've got to be careful. I'll give away some territory. Oh, what's over here? Fifth generation. Not bad. What's your deal anyway? Domain revocation. What are you talking about? I would never. Yeah, really what they want right now are seats on my council. I might have to do it for now just to keep them away because if I don't, he's actually not too bad. So we'll put him there. See, now he's gone. I could probably handle the rest of you. Maybe not him. The embrace. There we go. Don't die on me, buddy. He's a vampire now. And I'm going to teach him his place, too. That's what we'll do. All right, they're close by. We're currently besieging. We're doing very well. You don't like me nearly as much now. Well, you should. I'll figure that out in just a little bit. Granddaughter taken prisoner. Oh, hi. You're way over there. And she's also quite old. As I am, too. All right. Let's see. My child over here is an easygoing child. If we were doing a proper campaign, I would read out like every little bit. But for now, we're not going to do that. And let's see. You're a cultist over here. Kind of a dumb vampire, but it happens. Let's come down and go beat their army. Over 1,000 men. Doesn't really matter to me. Let's see. I could teach him the ways. You know what? I'll give you money. I'll hire some teachers. And you'll learn. All right. There we go. We've got another ghoul again. Okay, when it comes to factions once more, what's your deal again? I put you on my council. Over domain limit. Okay, well, is there like any land you want? I don't believe so. I think he's okay. Yeah, so let me come over here real quick and have a look at my council. You're a vampire. So what I'll do... No, sorry, you're a ghoul, not a vampire. I'll give you some land. There. That should do it. Okay, what's over here? You want to convert to another faith? I think not. No, I'm not going to let you do that. And let's see, you like to prey on young women. Now I know. I'm learning more and more and more. I want to blackmail him. That's what I want to do. I just want to find out a good amount about him right over here. Oh, he's not shunned or criminal. I've got to wait for that, then I can go after them, but I can't do it yet because of that. I could denounce him. That's true. 
that could be quite good. I'll think about it though. All right. So our war over here is over. We can go back home now. We did our part. I just need to worry about the faction that's about to rebel. And let's see, I need to present my child now. Look at him go. Yep, my glory is widely known. We do have a new member who's come in to cause a few issues. And what now? You want a hook on me? Oh, shoot. Look at that. My child made a small mistake over here. That isn't good. I'll have to allow it. Okay, you can't join any faction, which is quite good. The rest of you can. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do about the rest of you. Because, again, we're about to have a major rebellion. Even you. He's my spy master, too. They don't follow my ways. All right. Let's see. Grant independence. I could do that. I could just try to do that. Just to come back after them later on. Yeah, that could be the way to do it. Is to just, like, let them go. Huh. I like that idea, actually. Why don't I do that? You know what? Be free. Or what about you? You've got more power, don't you? Over 800 men. You've got a lot, too. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I am very ambitious. You're right. But we'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Okay? Now their power has gone down. And I'll cancel my plans. We'll focus on what we can. I'll try to sway you later. Again. If I need to. But for now, I think I might be able to get him to kind of see things my way. We've got a truce for the moment, but I'm definitely going to have him killed. Oh, yeah. If I do that, that would be great. I could try to consume him. He's got a child. That child does not compare to him, though. So I've got plans. Your great appetites are renowned throughout the world. I've been a good vassal to you, but surely you understand that I have subjects of my own, too. No blood tithe. Oh, well, that angers me greatly. No, we'll take care of it over time. I've got my steward back, and he's quite good at 23 for stewardship. I mean, incredibly good. And what's over here now? Oh, look at that. My soulmate. Well, thank you very much. Great. Yeah, we are very friendly. Hopefully in time, she'll join me. The lure of language. I don't want to become more stressed out, but I don't think I have a choice right now. I don't want to fail. Okay, good, I didn't. Let's come back over here. Yeah, converting to the local culture probably would have helped. Elysium, I need more money for that. I'll try to work on it. Someone I know died. Right. I could use a bit more blood. Yeah. Who's over here? There's you, one Baron. You know what? I think I'll keep you here. Oh, I can make people my slave if they're my prisoner. That's really wild. All right, what else can I do to you? Hurtify. Let's eat from a mortal. Yeah, I just want to eat, really. Let me have a look around. Make concubine. I don't want that. I guess I could keep you around just for that purpose. Embrace. Okay. We'll take that. I'm going to add her to my herd. And I did learn a new language. Great. Look at that. Thrax, Cretheus, they like me a lot more. Is that going to help out? Is that going to do what needs to be done? 87, and we're still not there. We were nearly there, but not quite there. Okay. I think what I'll do... We could just fight them all now. Or I could try to figure out a few other things. You want to see to my council. What are you good at? Nothing, really. Oh, I really don't like you. You know what? If you guys want to fight, let's go. Let's do it. I'm going to keep finding out secrets over here. They've got to commit a crime, though. Ooh, 10th generation. That's pretty far out there. My cousin was killed in battle. The father of emperors. Wow. How far away was he killed? Way up over here. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Over 4,000 men. I've only got 3,800. No, I'm actually very close to him. Nice. Okay. A cannibal secret? Really? Okay, we're learning more and more, aren't we? Disrupt any schemes for right now. I know, they could send an ultimatum at any point now. Yeah, he's at 89. It's getting better. A cask of wine. Keep on trying to have him killed. Let's come back over here. I could invite a few people. I could bribe a few of you. Ooh, that wouldn't be cheap. It really wouldn't. 
What I could do, I could find out secrets to have him killed. And I'm trying to kill the Count over here. No one's going to help me out. It's going to take a very long time, though. The Bitter Ender. Okay. She has joined my court. So, I could manipulate my vessel. Ooh, I got a very high chance of getting more stress, so I think I'll wait and see. I don't think she has the right blood for me. That's really part of the problem about being a very fancy, fancy vampire. Or issues like that, but I'm going to let you go now. You won't convert. Well, that's fine. You're a human. I get it. All right. The factions are looking to be much better for me. Again, we've got to try to have him killed, but it's going to take me time to build that up. Let's see. I could just have my spy master over here support my schemes. That could work out. Crethius likes me a lot more. We're also working on domestic affairs. So finally, we're getting a lot done. Enjoy your blood wine. Come on now. There we go. He's gone. Though, because I do live forever, unless I'm killed, there is an issue. I've got a murder secret over here that people could find out about. Ah, there we go. One enemy gone. He became free. Would any of you like to be free? Maybe you would, my friend. Maybe you would. I wonder. I could get someone to join me. Getting him kidnapped would be a challenge for sure. I think what I'll do... I'll come over here, over to my council, and we'll find out about his court. Let's do that now. Yeah, we can do that much. And for you, I would like to sway you because you're my spy master, and I feel like you should like me a lot more than you do. I'm getting a lot of money. Let's have a look at the map real quick. I'm learning a lot more. That's going to pop up a lot, trust me. A new discovery. I don't know how the Shadow Inquisition is doing. I don't think they're doing very well. Yeah. Have a look at that. There's a vampire in charge of some land that should potentially belong to humans. But it doesn't. I became the head of Roman culture. Yep, I'm the only one here pretty much who can do that. Which is fine. My learning is okay. If you had very high learning, oh, you could do a lot, I think. But we have a lot as it currently stands. And right now, let's just have a look around. We could spread our culture a little bit more. We're going to bring it back a little bit. Yeah. I've got good council members. I've got my great chaplain. He's going to convert people over to our ways. I'll get more control locally. That way I can make more money. Now, again, you like me, but you still want to cause issues. What I could do with you, I could blackmail you. I could try to. Here we go. Occultus. Refused. All right. I'll expose it. There. He's been feeding from a blood cult. Now we all know. I could really expose a lot, too. I know a lot about him, just I can't use it all. Not yet. I want to blackmail him. I'll try again later. I could try to go after people they know, especially when I want people dead. Blood. Now, I want a little bit. But I don't want to become too stressed out. A little sip over here. Let's kill him for fun. We did it. Look, I want my blood. And I've got my blood now. It's about time for Elysium. Oh, that was great. Oh, look at that. The guest of honor. All right. He wants to be one. Now, I have a hook on him. I lose 200 prestige, but that's a really good thing. I could have him convert. That would be great. He would probably like me a lot more if I did that. He's very powerful. He's like my notable rival that I have here without being my rival just yet. War games now. Let's have a chat. Let's see. Huh. We'll play one. I won. Oh, no. I'll tell you what I want you to do, buddy. There we go. Now he likes me a lot more. Great. Blood is flowing. A little sip for me. Enjoy your time, everyone. That gives me 200 more prestige. The council meeting. Yeah, sure. The more skilled your council is, the better the outcome will be. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I've got a really good council. That was intentional. Let's see. Diligent Chancellor for five years. Direct vassal opinion up by, what, 10? Yeah, 10. Good job. And for you, Rubino, who I turned into a ghoul, what did you do? 
bloody investments. Oh, cheaper buildings and all that. 50 gold. I'll take that too. Buy my Marshall. Controlled Populace will take that. More control. An average plan. Boo. But I would lose stress, which is good. But for five years, I would, well, have a few issues. A few penalties. Okay, exposure will decrease. Good job, Spy Master. They all did a really good job. Holy crap. Having a good council can make a big difference. So I'm going to do that again later in 1242. Yeah, so I definitely should use that more once I have a good council. But if they weren't good, oh, we would have had some serious issues. Okay, so now we can increase control more if we want to. It's all pretty rough, but I'm going to keep on trying. Let's see. You'll go convert more people. Ten years is a very long time. Four is not nearly as long, obviously. We'll start over there. And find more secrets if you can. I want secrets on everyone. You never know what you might be able to use, so I think it's a really good idea. Though the pop-ups can be a lot. <laughs> Alright. Let's come back over here. You rule now. You're doing better than your forebear was. Let's see... I'll take that from you. I'm here to take over a new duchy title. So I've got all my soldiers together. I've got my money. Let's go fight them. It's a very quick battle at that. Okay. If you have a look at what was done here, I lost only 72. My champions did a great job. We got Limbert, a mortal. Lovers now. I don't really care who's a lover at the moment. I'll just keep on gathering them. We'll look at it later. But they have no allies, so we can retake it. So that's another valid way. You let them become free. And look at my wife. She's got more lands, too. She's got all her Sardinia. That's great, actually. I've got a good, strong ally. How's my lover doing? She's doing okay, I think. The Eternal Senate. Oh, that's very cool. I'm all about the Bacati. Okay. I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, I can easily beat you. I've got a prisoner. I love it. Okay, so the war is over. We're done here. We did our part. You're free again. And I've got your territory. Okay, let's have a brief look at what we have here. Spoleto. Who probably wants Spoleto? That's what I need to know. We've got my control here. I own two areas. Actually, you're really cool with me now, too. Title claimants? Oh, yeah. That's an issue, but when it comes to everything else, we're doing okay. Yeah, just have a look at that. Count Crethius, I know you've got your own issues with me, but we're working on it. Demand conversion? I wish. I'll try. I'll see if I can pay for it. Darn. You won't do it. Okay, well... I suppose what I could do here, I could sway you. I'll try. I'll try. Okay, you're my champion. You're not very good either, and I really don't care for you. I really want to get rid of him if I can. I could also try to befriend him. Kidnapping him wouldn't be easy. Expose a secret. I don't want to do that either. Imprison. An act of tyranny. 20 opinion gone would be kind of a rough one, I think. So... I could try to befriend him. It wouldn't be too difficult, I think. Yeah, they're losing a lot of power. So I finally did it. I'm finally at a point now where I don't have to worry so much about what's going on with all of them. And I'm just learning more secrets too. So now what I need currently is just 500 gold. I need to just save up. So we'll probably take it easy for a little bit. I'm going to have to give away some land over here. To who? It really depends on who's worthwhile. I've got some good people. She's immortal, but very good at diplomacy. That's really all that she has going on. Let's see. 12 for your prowess. Pathetic. Here's another champion of mine. Also very strong, which is why I don't want him to lead. You want, like, people who are good, but not too good? I know, it's kind of bad, but... Oh, God, I forgot about him. Evidently, he's betrayed me. You shall pay, Lumpy. All right, Lumpy, what do you have? I've got a claim on a piece of your land. Land that I'm going to own directly. Let's go get it right now. You betray me, I have you killed. That's how we do things around here, okay? Alright. There's my army. I don't need that many men, though. We'll take away all of you. That's a lot. Thank you, but we don't need that. Let's come down and go fight them. 1300 will do. Yeah, good. We're learning about lovers. Lots of lovers out there. 
Let's go get that army if we can. Aftermath of a dream. Huh. Despite being a morally dubious affair, the Fourth Crusade has brought great wealth to the city-states of Italy. Okay. Yeah, sure. Bring me anything of value. I could use money. I need money. We'll try to hunt down their army. And we'll just keep on going. Okay, part two. I could get a shard of... Oh, really? That would give me a lot more stress, which normally I would do that. I'm not going to. But that's a really cool event. Yeah, we easily got rid of the caravan's meager defenses. Instead, what I'll do, I'll take the money because I want it for my throne. Pushing luck. I can easily do that. Oh, yeah, she likes me a lot more. Man, I brought us back from the brink. I'm learning a little bit. And if you have any tips and you know the mod well, let me know. I would love to really know more because it is a very complex mod. And I've learned a lot. And I'm only running through quickly right now because, again, that's how I do it. That's how I learn how to play. It's a great way for me to learn how to play and for all of you to also like see the mod and what it's all about. It's a lot of secrets too. I would probably start in a much more difficult area with a smaller court. But we would get to know characters quite well. Like Cretheus right now is my primary rival, but... Oh, what now? Fifth generation, not bad. Look at him, 41, he's very strong. All right. Who died? Another dead cousin. Who did it? I wonder. Our house is doing okay. Yeah, we've got plenty of living members. 19 houses total. Yeah, we're doing fine, dude. Oh my god. Have a look at that. That's crazy. All right, it's over. So yeah, no wonder we're seeing like people being killed in battle or whatever. That's always going to happen. Let's have a look over here at, let's see, not empires, duchies. I could give that to someone new that I like. Someone who's got a claim that could also work out. What about anyone who's got good stewardship? I found one fellow. Here's my champion. Oh, he's very angry. What's your deal, buddy? You are diligent, zealous. Okay. Road of Heaven. Canites who were Christians in life may choose to adhere to the path of Christ. Really? Huh. That's fascinating. Could you imagine? You're a vampire and you're like, you know what? I'm still going to be a little bit holy. Why not? I could give you some land, buddy. Maybe you'll do a good job, okay? Maybe. I'll figure it out. Can I blackmail him right now? Oh, you consume others. That gives me a strong hook on him. Great, let's do it. I've got a very strong hook on him. Be angry if you want to, but don't make a dumb choice, buddy. All right? Funny how that works out. You know what? I'll try to befriend him now. That's what I'll do. He'll be an old friend of mine. Benevento? Oh, God. The invisible vampire. We need to watch out from him. I can't see him. He's only a hat. The most deadly of all... No, he's actually very strong. The Bane of Carthage. A reading in Rome. I love that one as well. All right, so we won that. Let's have a look over here at my prisoners. I've got a few. You are a revenant. Ooh, scary. We've got over here another vampire. You're not very good. You're a mortal. Limbert. Yeah, a lot of mortals over here. My blood supply is doing fine. And look at my gold. I'm at over 500. All right, so let's come back over here to kingdom titles. I've got my title now. I'm now a mighty king. I can have more champions too. And I've got a few already. My glory is widely known. Great. Let's see. What do I need over here? I now need full control of the entire kingdom and also 2,000 gold. The faction is finally gone. It took me time, but that felt really cool to be able to like slowly break them down to the point where we no longer had to worry about them. And we are beginning to convert things over to our way, which is pretty darn cool. It takes a very long time, which I do understand. And that's okay. Now... I've got to take over land that should belong to me. I do wonder, though, would you become my vassal? Let's come back over here. Oh, you would not. Yeah, because we do not share a faith, that is not very likely, which is fine. Maria, you've got a claim. Which means you want Spoleto, potentially. Yeah, sure, we'll use it. I'll bring out mighty, mighty vampires to go fight him. There we are. 
Oh, I've got 15 too. Have a look at that group. That's going to crush a few enemies. What a great job. I don't need allies. They came to fight me. The dance over here. Ah, we're friends now. Well, very good. I want a few good friends in my court. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Friendships do last for a long time. I could come over here to my court, maybe sort by prowess and have a look around. You're not my friend. I feel like you should be. In the future, I won't try any lifestyle, you know, choices like that. Like right now, I'm working on a different discipline instead. Yeah, that's what I'll do. It's a lot faster, but I thought I would try it out just for fun. Here, I'm here to try like every button possible just to learn things. It's all about learning. That's how I learn. I play quickly. I'm a little bit more reckless, but it's been very effective for me. It teaches me what not to do. Huh. I don't need a champion. I've got you now. It's all over. I could potentially let you go, maybe. Let's see. Let's have a little look. I could demand your conversion, but you're going to lose your territory anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to make you my concubine. You're lame. All right, done. We got that area. Let's go after another one now. Ooh, a senator. You've got a lot. I want more than what I'm able to take right now. I wish I could take it all. I've got claims on all of it. But I would need to take over that area instead. Yeah, she's got two duchies, which is really my issue. My lover lost her land, unfortunately. Here's one area. You've got no allies. Heavenly, huh? Huh. So they believe that in order to truly save a soul, the mortal body must be destroyed as soon as a soul has found redemption. Oh, wow. You did it? Okay, now die. Huh. You know what? I'll get on board with that. I'm going to help them find redemption. Let's do it. Try to get my money up there. I haven't really built too much. I get a lot of prestige just due to who we are. Let's come back now. We'll take over what we can. We're nearly done. Yeah, we're so strong. It's just about keeping a stable rule when possible. I'll try to have him killed later. It's quite dangerous to do that. Let's see. My son over here killed by who? Oh, consumed by Siegfried, who's also gone. He died in a dungeon, too. Awesome. Get wrecked, fool. And she's alive. Holy crap. There's just a lot of crazy stuff going on. You can also make your own custom vampire, which I'll show off in a very end once we're done here. Just kind of conquering and controlling and doing a pretty good job, I think. All right. So you belong to me now, pretty much. I could try to seduce you after I'm done. Yeah. I think we could do that. A busty vampiris? I'm down. Let's do it. Okay. So we're not done conquering yet. You're fighting a war now. When Archbishop is attacking you. I suppose what I can do, I can go after that one bit of land first. Why don't we do that, huh? Ooh, that's a lot of enemies right by me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's go fight a few of them. There's no way they can beat me, right? I hope not. I'll try to have him killed later. We'll come over here now. We're way too strong. Oh, they're cut off. I could just come over here and attack. Yeah, we'll go do that instead. We'll come back later. But that was a good win. We lost, what, 59? That was a pretty big battle to lose. And I've caught so many. A member of my house, too. I wonder, would you join me? It's a great way to potentially get them to join you, I suppose. Recruit? Heck yeah. Come on down, buddy. And now we're friends. Time to find a lover. Oh, yeah. Time to shebang. Let's go do it. Let's figure things out real quick. Seduce. I'll do it. I'll have it done now. All right, so I've got a new member. Depart of my house. I mean, I'll get them to join. I think that could work out. Here's another count. Who else do we have? 17 prowess is really not that great. If you had like over 20, I would potentially bring you along. But if you don't have 20... But 17, I suppose, you know... I could make you my slave. I'm not going to. I'm not going to let you go directly. You've got a title, so I can't do that anyway. Ah, it's fine. Let's go back and chop your waters. I know, that keeps popping up, but we'll do it later. 
Yeah, look at that. They're fighting out over here. Youch. What a battle. Coming down to fight me? What a dumb idea. She's been tense lately. Have I taken a lover? Of course not. I would never do that to you. I'll kill you when I feel like it, buddy. All right, that gave me five gold. We're not done yet. A murder en route. I could pay a hunter. I'll explore it myself. Good. We just need a better chance of getting things done, you know. I don't want to just try it out and fail. I'm not here to fail. A meal to die for. We're nearly there. I could probably get someone to join me. Okay, let's come over here real quick and try to take over like one more bit of land. Oh, I didn't mean to actually go there, but too late now. Nope, it's over. Good. Okay. So now we have lands that once did belong to her. All right, let's have a look now. That belongs to me. I'll give it to you, I suppose, because we're going to become lovers, you and me. It's going to happen. All right. She's got some land. She's happier. I'm happier. She's got a spouse right now, that guy. A mortal, really? Oh, boy. We've got a few things to teach him. Why don't I seduce them both? I could do that. <laughs> the Bride of Night. I love it. The meat. Okay. Let's see. One of these champions could be made to look a real fool. We'll try that out. Good. It's working out. I'm waiting. I'll try again in just a moment. Let's come back over here. Okay, good. You're supporting me. A duchy claim. Not... Oh, wow. That's a lot of claims from very far away. Yeah, if you turn them into a vampire, guess what? You've got a bunch of very old claims. The Latin Empire. Whoa. That's a wild one. Okay. I guess I could get you here. But I'm seducing right now. She's not always going to be here. If I recruit her, though, that's 150 gold. And I'm not here to spend that much. But look at what I've done. I've nearly gotten her. I need to have you killed instead. I might go after her instead. Actually, you know what? That count, he's no longer getting on my nerves. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to find a few secrets over here. Maybe blackmail a few people. And then we'll see, okay? Let's do that because I want her dead. Because I want to go and claim what belongs to me. And now... Well, she's my lover. Great. She no longer will cause issues for me. She's pretty strong, too. All right. It is done. I've got a lover. What now? You're trying to win my heart? You're my great-grandson. I mean, you know, as a vampire, but come on now. It's weird. We'll do it anyway. <laughs> no. You've got a secret. Oh. You've eaten other vampires. Good to know. Yeah, she's a neighboring ruler. I'm gonna blackmail her. Nice, okay. She's at war. She's losing a war currently. We'll see how that plays out later. A ransom, you say? 30 gold? I'll take 30 gold. Hey, getting that much money can be a pain. I'll do it right now. All right, let's have a look around. Let's see, promote culture, four years. You're converting faith, or philosophy rather. And look at who's not bothered me for a long time. Cretheus. He's cool now. I just had to convert him. What a great way to get them to kind of be on your side. Okay. So now that we're done doing that, come help me out. Support schemes. But what a cool way to like conquer. You've got to like plot your way across to do that. Otherwise, you're not going to have a good time. Oh, here's Germany, my aunt. Whoa. The Roman relic of Germany. She was able to win and gain power? Okay. What happened over here? I have no idea. Destroyed. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that happened. Let's see. Mithras, you're doing fine. I wonder how the hunters are doing. Well, not very well. I don't think they did very well. Are they anywhere? Because look at him. He's a vampire. Shadow Warfare. Huh. Oh, that's a big boy. That's a well-fed baby vampire, man. I don't like it. Alright, who else do we have? I think they were all destroyed. 
Do I need to buff them up? Do they get like events to buff them up? Because I thought they would be around. But right now, I don't know if there's anyone left. Let's see, Giovanni. I know there's a group that was over here. We should have had one up north. No, it's Giovanni. Emilia. They might be gone. That might be it for them. I'll have to figure out how to make them a little bit tougher then. Unless, like, they come back later or they get events or whatever. I have no idea. Another 30 gold. Oh, don't worry, lady. We'll get you. We'll find a way. 50 gold? Absolutely. What's over here? Queen Helena of Troy. I could watch her, sure. I can do that. I've got a lover, but it's okay if I do it. Pure blooded. Oh. I like that. You know what? Come over here. And what now? Another secret. So now I'm learning more. That's good and all. Okay. Let's do it. 20 gold. I'm here to have you killed, Livia. And evidently, someone over here is a murderer. No, can't be. We never do that here. All right, let's have a look around. Wow, we are just finding out everything that we can. Can I create anything really new that I want? Nothing too major, it seems. No. Oh, she's been eating as well. Yeah, I mean, she's very strong at that. All right, here's another great person, but we're not going to do that right now. I've already got my one. They would have to be a very good warrior or have some other skill. I don't really know yet. All right, there's my money. I wonder what I should build back over here in Rome. I've got options. Let's see. Blood tax could be handy. Popular opinion would go down. Control goes down by what? 0.5? Ooh. Let's see. Stress loss would go up. What else do I want over here? Golden taxes would go down by 30%, which is a lot. I like having my money where it's at. Influencing the lawgivers. I like that too. Okay, we'll gain more prestige and more control. I'll take that. I think it's a good idea. A very good idea. Alright. Let's just wait because I'm still trying to have her killed. Because I want to conquer what she has. Man. I'm telling you. I've got a list of secrets over here that are pretty wild. And I'll know them for a long time too. One agent? I wonder, could I have anyone join me? No, I don't believe so. I wish. It would be nice. You're close to wanting to join me. I get it. I think I'll try to eat someone. I suppose it could have been you. But that's alright. Now I could denounce her. Yeah. I could say, hey, you're lame. Then I could imprison you. I do have that power, but I'm not trying to flex that part of my power. I want to do things the old-fashioned way. It's how I learn. Oh, she does have a lover. Is it him? Are you the lover? Oh. You know what? We'll eat him. Let's see here. No, you're not very good, but I'm going to eat you anyway. I'll do it for fun, okay? Me and you, we're going to have a chat later. Oh, because I have concubines. Well, about those. It's okay. Fourth generation. I could blackmail her. You know what? For fun. Let's blackmail her. You understand, don't you? Yeah, she understands. I could try to seduce her. She'll become my lover, not just my wife. All right, we'll try it out. And she's gone. The water got her. All right. So now what we can do, we can come back over here and attack. 258. She's French. And I want all of my lands. Thank you. So we did it. All that work. All that plotting. I'm going to raise up all of my special soldiers over here. I think I'll take a few. Yeah, a few men. Maybe not all of you. Cancel. Bring them down. Come over here. I'm losing way too much gold right now, so I need these guys gone. There we go. Now I'm only losing 5.8. I don't need that many. I'm choosing to have that many, though. And we got them. Okay. That's over. Let's come back over here and take their capital. Wow. They did lose it all. That's pretty rough, man. Okay. So now we just need to come over here and take their capital. Then it should be over. So at the very least, you know, it's like giant gang fights. We're not having to fight the entire map all the time. I'm sure that could happen. 
A Cinnabite secret. Whoa. Let's see. This vampire hunts mortals among the holy orders. Neat. All right. Now we can come down over here and fight another army. Let's go beat them. Or whoever's close by. We'll go beat them. It's very easy at that. Got that force, and we're nearly done winning the war. We'll come back over here and just take over a few different areas. If they want to rebuild, they can try to. There we go. We're now influencing lawgivers. What a great way to keep the peace back at home. Yeah, we've got to get more control, which is certainly a challenge depending on where you're at. Go back up over in Rome. Let's see. If I take like a few areas, and what now? She becomes my lover. Great. Now we should have everything worked out. Yeah, I've got my concubines, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I could give her some power for a period of time. She would like me more, too. I'll get hungrier, though. Then why would I? Okay, I'm going to rip you apart. You're my prisoner now. We'll come over here and conquer another area. It's crazy how quickly we're moving. All right, let's see. You're not done converting people, are you? No, but that's why we have so much peace. I mean, look at my culture and my religion. Culture over here, Roman, religion. It's not quick, but it's being done. So I could actually make an all-Roman kingdom if I wanted to. What now? Uh-oh. A little hook on me, huh? Okay, uncle. That's why you got to be careful. I rip you apart and it's over. So we finally got it. We finally conquered what belongs to me. And that's only a good setup. So we'll call it here for right now. But let's also have a look over here at custom character. Well, actually, I just need the proper gold. I guess I could get that. Yeah, I think we'll do that for sure. We'll raise some money. Oh, look at that. My aunt over here wants to ally. We could do that too. So I'm allied over to Germany. Oh. What a juggernaut of power. She's like, yeah, you've got some power. Why not? Let's be friendly. All right, here's my lover. I'm going to give her some land. There we go. I can't quite convert her. Not yet. I want to, though. I would love to kidnap her. I think that would be a great way to work things out. Now, I'm going to sway her over to my side. We're fighting a very minor war right over here now, which is fine. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. So now I've got to raise up some soldiers. Okay. I'll do it. I get to sit over what I have and really sink in my role. Alright, we'll go over here to their capital. And we can take it over. Alright, so we've got more control back over there. We'll keep on working on more control in a few areas. Just to get that, you know, boosted back up. I can declare many wars. I can call many dynasty members. Wow, they're just all over now. Yeah. I'm not going to, but I've got that option. So there's a lot more of what I could be doing if I wanted to. I can modify contracts too. All right, three years of fighting. And there we go. Look at what I have now. I'm a proper king. I think I'm doing fine. I could take that duchy. That's away from you. You hate me. You're a neighboring ruler. You don't deserve that. I'll take it for now. Thank you. All right. I feel better for it. I just need a bit more now, and I could take over even more lands. But, oh, Transylvania. What a claim to have. Accusations. It happens. Yeah, she's been a good ally to have, I think. Very stable, very loyal. Well, if only you would become my vassal, but let's see. Yeah, you're far from me for now. And you're of a different faith. That's really the big issue, is having that problem. I think if I had potentially married my soulmate, I probably could have gotten her to join me. Or maybe she would have been conquered anyway. I'm not too sure. Or I could have helped her out. Who are you? Yeah, sure. You may go. You may go. Let's have a look at factions real quick. No factions at all. So we got a lot of peace over here. I'm going to eat my wife's lover. I can have lovers. She cannot. That's just how it goes here. I consume them. The Duchy of Burgundy. I've got my... Let's see... Lover over here as well. I'll probably eat her human mortal husband later, just for fun, or whatever I want to do. And I'm going to save up until I have my gold. Found the lover over here. Time to attack him. Let's try it out. 
I got him. Now what to do with my prize, huh? Good question. It is about time to consume his soul. I'll spend what? 250 piety? I'll take it. He's not strong, but that's alright. And he's gone. I consumed him. He's got one child. I could have you killed too. Oh, look at that. My rival lost a title. I love it. Get destroyed, fool. Oh, he's very far away too. He's got some lands over here. Kind of funky for sure. All right. So now, again, we're just waiting for my money. I've got my seat. People tend to like me quite a bit here. Oh, you want a duchy? What duchy do you want? You freaking nerd. Oh, Latium? You'll never have that. No. Most outsiders misjudge the Via Bacchetti as a road of mere self-gratification. Truth be told, it is an important part of the doctrine, but the bigger picture is different. Via Bacchetti is about political control and awareness. And what do I get? Eternal Consul. What a title. I've got Eternal Rome, and maybe I could convert a few of the fellow Kenites around. Well, there we go. I've got a much higher chance to seduce, sway, and befriend, and I'm rather attractive to others, too. Wonderful. That is a lot of power to have. They didn't actually take away my gold, which is nice. I had to get 2,000 gold. That took me a very long time, but I did it. Now, let's have a look over here. I could create my own custom character. You can choose who's your progenitor as a vampire. You could become a revenant. A revenant is an independent ghoul who has vampire blood in them. Then you've also got the choice to become a hunter, and you could go after a bunch of vampires. So there are options out over there, but we are done for now. And I shall talk to all of you at a later point. Let me know down below if you want me to play as an Inquisitor, or maybe just a vampire. Or instead, you want me to form my own independent family. That's an option too. I don't know how that would all work out, but I could definitely check it out. Okay, until then.